Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL. We're in the fourth uh, best of three here. Very exciting. And in fact, I think this is going to be the best, like most awesome best of three uh, out of the four best of, th best of threes that we've done so far. Tell me why. Well, we have TLO, total fan favorite. Yeah. Everyone loves TLO. Against Songho, who's also a fan favorite. Yes. Uh, you know, I've done a lot of interviews with him. He has a great personality. Everyone in the foreigner scene seems to really like him. He's really He's a great guy, man. Yeah. I love that guy. And uh, he is legit. He yeah. is so good. And this is actually a sick match. This should be taking place in minimum round of 16. But here yeah, we are. Yeah, it's too bad. It's so early on in the tournament. These yeah. two very important players are going to have to face off. One is going to go home. Yeah. Now, of course, if you don't know who TLO is, uh, you should because TLO is quite possibly the most popular non-Korean player, him and maybe Idra. Um, and essentially, uh, he is boxer's favorite player, Slayer's boxer's favorite player. He was inspired by the nuke play, canceling the nukes um, in his match. Uh, against a very important OGS player. It was very awesome to see him play. Yeah. Um, this match is pretty crazy, actually. Yeah. You know, uh, of course, everyone over at Team Liquid probably rooting for yeah. their player, Liquid TLO. Of course, TLO, a member of Team Liquid yeah. from TeamLiquid.net. There he is. That's, the team. That's his team. That's the player. And his rank is private first class. He is from Germany. But yep. he is bilingual. He speaks English quite well. And we will be doing an interview with him. Artos as well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he is one of three non-Koreans in this tournament. Idra, him, and Loner. Loner's already made it through. Idra plays tomorrow, I believe. And, of course, TLO playing today. We'll be leaving for BlizzCon tomorrow as well. We will also be leaving for BlizzCon. That's Flying right. on one of Blizzard's golden jets. <laughs> um, TLO really... Uh, a really, really popular player. I can't emphasize that enough. So oh, I'll just say it really, really a whole bunch of times. He is um, great player. quite a genius, actually. He was playing random for some time and eventually decided to switch over to Terran. He thought that would best suited his play style, but he was winning tournaments, playing random, scaring people. Um, and by the way, there's a lot of non-Koreans that have showed up to the studio here today to root him on. He was just giving him a thumbs up over there. So um, this is a big moment here. Of course, Songho, one of the most popular. We're calling him Songho. His name is actually um, Baby Bye Bye. Yeah, no, that's actually a Smurf ID. That's a he Smurf does want to be known as Songho. Songho. Uh, Songho, right over here. Now, he was a member of the team Eastro before. That's right. Uh, a great player, a pro league level player. Yep. This is a guy that's beaten Jadong on TV. Yep. Uh, extremely good at this game. Just joined TSL. He's good friends with both Kisu and uh, Fruit Dealer. Right. Because they are both ex Eastro players. And uh, so, you know, he's on basically the best team. He's got one of the best Protosses in the world as a player that he practices a lot with. He's a very and international guy. Uh, oh, actually, very good friends with um, Liquid Noni, another member of Team Liquid. Yeah. Um, they actually were buddy buddies back when uh, Noni was a member of yeah. Team Eastro, one of the few non-Koreans to come out here on a Korean pro team. He is a great guy, very friendly. I actually lived with him for a little over a year. Very friendly to me all the time. Getting quite good at English, actually. Yeah, his English is pretty good. Yeah. And uh, see a little sign there in Korean on his cell phone. I have no idea what it says. Um, one thing I'd like to say is I was speaking to Song Ho before the match, and he said that he is 100% certain that he will take out TLO. And TLO is also very confident. Yeah. I talked to him, too. It's funny because TLO is also are, very confident. They're just very confident individuals. They aren't being cocky. They're, they're just, confident. They're both very confident in their skills because they're these guys are top of the line. This is... Actually, this is a match that should have happened much later in the now, tournament. Now, these guys haven't actually played before, correct? No, I do not They have think not so. actually encountered each other, no. so they're both underestimating each other. Tilo oh, no doubt. is fairly certain that uh, he's going to beat him. And uh, we actually um, we were out having drinks with um, with Baby Bye Bye, who's better known as Songho, and he was like, oh, Tilo, he's like, oh, thumbs down, like he's <laughs> dead. So uh, this is really we'll exciting. We'll have to see, man. We, I'm we know really Tilo and, and this guy pretty well, too, so this is, uh, this is kind of exciting for us to cast this game for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so whoever wins, I'm going to be sad and happy. I know. Here's the map lineup. It's going to be first map, Zelnaga Caverns. TLO and takes out Shakur's Plateau and Blistering Sands. All right. Uh, Sungho takes out Lost to Mepple. And Delta Quadrant. Well, uh, I kind of get all that. He Sungho obviously doesn't want tank drops, and he doesn't want uh, close rush distances. Meanwhile, TLO says, oh, you know, Shakur's is a little bit long. I probably haven't played as much. And then Blistering. Normally, there, a lot of people just don't like blistering, so they take it out. Second map, going to be Steps of War. Ooh, that's a very close rush distance. And third map, Jungle Basin. 
a lot of places you can warp in on that map, across the rocks, across the river. So uh, this is actually a super interesting map pool for this yeah. match. It's going to be totally action-packed. I think so. it's going to be pretty sick. These guys, um, they have a big future, both of them, in StarCraft too. Oh, yeah. Now, we know that there are probably so many people on Team Liquid um, watching right now. So hi to you guys. Uh, we love you. We love you. We hope you're enjoying the casts. And, um, you know, I know you guys are really rooting for TLO. And uh, I know that I'm sure there's some Songho fans out there, man. He's got to be some. He's got great personality. He's a very talented StarCraft 1 A-teamer. Yes. So, I mean, you cannot underestimate this guy. Yeah. People who are A-team playing in Pro League that have switched over. Like, I mean, I know Box or Not are good. They weren't playing Pro League, really. Yeah. I mean, every now and then they get a match because they're so famous. But Songho is someone that's, like, every week out Yeah, he's Pro actually, League. like, a, a backbone. A backbone Commonly player, yeah. used weapon. Yeah. Uh, from the Eastro team. Eastro um, is not his team anymore, though. No, it's he not is TSL. All about TSL, the baby. The SCV life. The SCV life. Very solid team, TSL. I know, man. It's got so many StarCraft 1 pro gamers. Yeah. Kisu, he's a solid StarCraft 1 pro gamer. Uh, Fruit Dealer, Clyde. And we're going to start off. this game. Let's go. Here he is with the Red Terran. His name is from the team, site Team Liquid. Liquid Tiello. Liquid Tiello. Down here at the bottom left, we know him as Sangho, originally from the Team Eastro, a StarCraft 1 pro gamer, a very good one at that, who played Protoss, now playing Protoss in StarCraft 2. Yes, sir, baby, bye bye. I fit so many words in there before they said that. Yeah, I should you're like, you I could like work as an auctioneer. Um, you're like the micro machines guy. <laughs> I'm like the scat man. Um, <laughs> Liquid TLO, first SCB goes. It's gonna wall in. Liquid TLO, one of three non-Koreans that's made it to the round of 64. Yeah. Uh, you know he's got a lot of pressure on him. The fans want to see him go further than last time. We had to the round of 32. It's as far as any non-Korean made it last time. And of course, they're all hoping to make it further than that, obviously. But Songho is going to have something to say about that. It's going to be a hard match either way that it goes. This is actually so exciting. I am actually already getting chills. I haven't even seen a good move yet, and I am like, I'm just, I'm so stoked over this match. I like both these guys so much. Yeah, it sucks when you have to cast two of your friends. <laughs> yeah, because one of them's going to lose. And yeah. It's quite a happy and sad. A while. Oh, they spot each other. By the way, um, refinery first. Or no, no, yeah, that was refinery first. I'm not seeing things. Very interesting. Tilo actually does oftentimes go refinery first. Yeah, he likes to get that factory very fast. And, uh, well, the probe going to get right up the ramp there, as you see. Songho just chrono boosting um, probes out here. Barracks done. Now, the point of this is that right when the barracks finishes, watch, you'll have 100 Vespian gas. So we'll have a very early factory, I assume. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine anything else. Oh, definitely. This. And TLO likes factory play, which is something I appreciate quite a bit. But actually, instead of getting that, he's going to go ahead and morph his command center into a layer oh, command that's center. That's interesting. Into a layer command center. Um, all right. Well, we saw last time he did this, he went factory first. Um, so obviously, stockpiling yeah, gas for that's, something. Mm. It's uh, more common to get a very fast factory in the other matchups, but, well, we'll have to see exactly what his plan is. He is getting a tech lab, so he might be doing one of these, you know, get stim and expand, or get concussive grenades and expand builds. Do you think Ghost is a possibility? Is Against he, Protoss this early, I, I, I it's don't hard feel like to it imagine. Could be, but yeah. I hate it when I'm casting these games, and suddenly it's like a strategy that's so new, and I haven't experienced it. Uh, well, it looks like it is going to be the stim, stim expand. expand. Okay. Which is a good build, and this is something interesting to talk about, actually, what, what strategies we're expecting to see here. And I think that Songho especially, you would think, would want to get into a macro game, being a StarCraft 1 programmer. That's actually the, the main strength that StarCraft 1 programmers have over everyone else, is their macro management skills. You know, producing units, keeping their economy going. Uh, of course, TLO has shored up any weaknesses he had in those areas. He's quite strong in them as well, but it looks like TLO... Going to go ahead and actually add a second barracks instead of a command center, which I was kind of assuming he would do. That's interesting. So that's strike two against us. <laughs> TLO, man, he has his own style. He, he does, makes up yeah. his own builds all the time. 
And he's hiding that, actually. He has just the Marine on the ramp to block any scouting. And uh, just rallying the Marauders away. And ooh, a third... Oh, wait, no, that's a factory. Now, the probe is going to check, do a peek. He will see the Marauders. Oh, nope. Yeah, I think he did see the Marauders. I there. believe he saw them. And warp gate's starting. He's got a couple sentries, as you see there. And that means that he's going to be able to easily uh, block that ramp off. And a robotics is warping in. So this is a stim timing rush. Yep. Looks like uh, some pressure into some tech. Quadruple sentries. Yep. Now Songho the, just doesn't want to lose early. Definitely wants to go for the macro game. Now he's got to get some stalkers out here to deal with this. This yep. actually could just kill Songho right away. But he is making an immortal. So actually, he's playing very safe. He knows exactly what's going on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here it comes. He's going to have a perfect force field at the ramp. Songho, cool as a cucumber so far. TLO, being very careful. Nice move right there. Kills, Kills that SCV the right off. Backs up. Remember, it's Stim that was upgraded, not concussive grenades. TLO. Very good decision making, decides to go home. Yeah. If this immortal popping out, he would have been completely doomed if he had gone forward. Songho does manage to slip in there. I don't believe, let me check if see if Songho has vision of the, he does see the factory Ooh, of, the, of the second barracks. And, and the starport even he saw, so that's pretty interesting. Um, so Songho kind of knows what's going on, but decides to expand. He has a really good amount of units right now. Four centuries with a ton of energy, hasn't used any of that yet. He's got that immortal and just a few other units. So. TLO making a bunch of units still, no command center yet. Obviously going to be quite aggressive momentarily. This is a pretty good build here by Songho. It's actually quite unique. I, I'm not used to seeing quadruple sentry with the immortal. Yeah, it was you can tell he's really aiming to hit that macro game, which is, you know, it's that's what he should be doing. That's what StarCraft 1 players, that's, that's their strength. Yeah. Meanwhile, TLO's build is actually very calculated, too. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, this is, you can tell it's extremely well planned. This really should TLO. be like a game in the quarterfinals or something. That yeah. We're seeing these two players play, they're so good. Completely agree. Be sure to that. recommend this game to your friends, guys. I know, it's actually mom so and dad. far... Recommend mom and dad and stuff, the neighbors. <laughs> You'll be watering the garden and stuff, you'll see the neighbor walk out to get the newspaper, just be like, did you see the TLO game? Uh, second medevac is out. He sees that Diamond attack. a lot's coming with medevacs as well. Getting into position here. That's right. He's going to regroup. He has to engage perfectly. This attack by TLO, obviously designed to be able to run through whatever Songho has here. But he's going to drop into the main, I think. Yeah, he very well may. That's going to mess up his positioning. He's trying to get ready for an attack up here. He senses it. Spotter pylon. He will at least get rid of the spotter pylon, probably just retreat. That supply cap Songho. Has to make more pylons before he can get any uh, more units into play. Songho, using the ID, baby, bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye only twice, excuse me. Um, command center on the way. Arm armory for the Terran. Meanwhile, we see it moving southbound. Here we go! Guardian shield stimmed, but somewhat of a waste. Meanwhile, a wasted guardian shield. Teal, in the meantime, he is making a command center back to his natural. So this is actually really nice. He's he's forcing some energy out of the sentries, trying to do some damage here and there. Hasn't done a lot yet, but in the meantime, expanding behind it. So he's definitely not all in in any way, shape, or form. Songho uh, does get this command center up. He is still behind. Stim now. He's ooh. Songho very quickly pulls back. Doesn't want to take any damage on those uh, stalkers. Similar to the game we saw with uh, Apple, these stims could potentially be wasted. Now mm. Tilos. Obviously much better than Apple. He is continuing to make more medevacs. He does have that reactor on the star, uh, starport. Well, he's got Door. the armory out. Interesting how he's continuing to stick with um, the immortals here. Now adding a, a many additional units. But hold on, we have Hellion harassment here. Only one kill, I believe. And it looks like... Uh, ooh, we have an attempt... He did it, excuse me, he did attempt to engage there. Force field it, blocked it off. One Guardian Shield. That was yet another stim there, too, by the way, from yep. TLO. We heard the sound effect. Only lost a few units there, though. TLO is really trying to divide Songho's attention and do multi pronged attacks and catch him off guard. Now, this is something that's going to work for the vast majority of opponents, but Songho, he is a trained StarCraft 1 pro gamer, yeah. so he is actually dealing with it extremely well, which is, is just so impressive. But again, TLO, his practice partners, often. Lots of them are also StarCraft 1 pro gamers, so uh, this is just such an even match so far. It's awesome.
Now, again, he comes in here with the Hellion. No kills, though. Only one. That was the one from before. Now, Ooh. I got to emphasize it again. He's doing such a good job of coming in here and jabbing him and forcing him out of position. Now, Let's look take at a this. here. He's actually upgrading something we haven't seen upgraded in a long time. It's the Thor's 250 millimeter strike cannons. It, it has been patched, so it's actually on a cooldown instead of energy. So no longer can your Thor's be feedback. You just use that uh, every now and then. He is getting one Thor, and that's going to actually help him out a lot against Immortals. Yeah. He's going to be able to just one-shot those with that Thor when it when it gets that already. Meanwhile, TLO destroying these, uh, these rocks back here. Looks like he wants to expand to a safer location in this region. Both players controlling one Zelnaga watchtower. This uh, Hellion is going to go in here for a jab again. Let's see if he gets anything. Nope. Stops. Now, Songho, he's been two base for a while. He's got a lot of units, being very safe, and finally going for Colossus. You know, he's getting that Thermal Lance, he's getting his plus one upgrade, he's getting Zealot Legs, getting all these upgrades that are very important. And it's a good thing that he's switching over, because this is actually awesome by Tilo. We haven't seen this used since the patch came out, these, these strike cannons from the Thor, but 500 damage and a stun over six seconds. A Thor can take out a Colossus, an Immortal, all sorts of things with that. Yeah. So suddenly, this is a really awesome unit, and I'm really excited to see TL use it in battle. This is so high level what these guys are doing. The builds are so calculated. The responses to each other are so good. And Vikings I, it's, being popped out well. Yeah, Vikings. Great response. Command Center now expanding before his opponent, actually uh, expanding at the exact same time here. These guys are actually both so good. If you actually look at the way this is going down, neither of them oh. are going to do any attacks. They're both taking their thirds right around the same time, it looks like. Is he going to take it, or is he just parking this? Mm, I would think he would so take it at on this point. Probe is like in the Union. Nope, he's not going to make it yet. Uh, no, he decides to go out and attack. Hmm. Meanwhile, he's scanned. The note, we don't have siege tanks here, so he can kind of Yeah, he's actually his relying on there. Thors quite heavily. I believe he's going to use the strike expansion. cannons on... Ah, uh, there we go. But the, it looks like he's going Viking Thor with his Marine Marauder Medivac. The Vikings are, of course, for uh, for the Colossus. The Thors are going to be strike cannoning any Immortals that they can. And then the Marine Marauder is supposed to clean everything up while the, the Thor cools down and can help the battle once again. So this is actually really interesting and cool play. Looks like we have a, a drop coming over here, which may get intercepted. Zealot's going to spot this, and he sees that, and he's actually going to get Ooh. this SCB right before it finishes! Oh, it does finish just in time. Uh-oh. Do we have anything to defend the main? Not really, but he has a lot of warp gates, so, you know, he can just warp in some units, maybe. TLO playing a brilliant game so far. It's very good. You can see this Zealot here, just to harass if the SCB And here come. comes the drop! He's doing a drop. He's taking out some pylons. I'm holding my breath. He's going to warp in some zealots with the speed and the stalkers here. Stalkers should go for the uh, medevac. As they do. And here comes Tilo. Inches out. Very exciting, man. I feel like Songho would be well served with some size storm. He's going to go around to this corner. He does get a few shots off on the Viking. Vikings. All right. This is this. This could be it. Oh, that Thor. He wants to use strike cannons so badly. I've never seen a Thor want to use it that badly. Oh, these Vikings. Oh, there's not a lot of anti-air in here for Songho. Here comes the attack. And look at this. They are using their strike cannons, removing a lot of immortals. But it looks like TLO has more than enough here. Oh, and no. no never he, mind. Because the immortals are target firing the Thors here too quickly. And wow. actually, it's a crushing defeat here for TLO. That actually looked like it was going one way. I thought all of those were going to die to the Thors, but... Oh, they get picked up. He just cleans that up, and TLO is in retreat mode. He is in trouble. Meanwhile, the expansion for Songho, known as Baby Bye Bye in this tournament, uh, is up and running. Planetary Fortress here, but I don't know. Uh, I think he could really just destroy this pretty yeah, easily. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any chance TLO realizes this. He's backing up. I don't think he'll, well, maybe he will try, but with those charged zealots and everything else, he's going to take that down quite quickly. 
TLO, man, he is in a lot of trouble. Sungo's in good position, but there's a drop in TLO's main, in the main base by TLO. But at the same time, that battle going at home, though, that's going to get cleaned up. Let's take a look at the battle at the natural. And the SCVs are coming out. That's when you know you're in trouble. This is brutal. I think this is also GG. Yeah, the drop I... has been deflected. Uh, Sungho, baby bye-bye. GG. Take a about GG. Sungho, wow. saying true to his word, very confident. Excellent build orders, great play by both players. That battle, actually, that was wild because when the strike cans started coming out, uh, you know, it seemed like he was going to clean those up and be able to win, but nice force fields, nice play all around. Spunky talking to TLO, going over the game with him, no doubt. Coach Spunky. That's right. Damn, that was really uh, good. That Thank was a great game. Yeah. I actually had a great time in that game. That was uh, really The level of play from these two is just levels above what we've been seeing today. This is probably one of the most high-level games I've seen in the tournament. This is actually more high-level than the game with Slayer's Boxer. Yeah. Uh, to be totally honest, the, it is. those builds are just so good. Um, I do like Before Immortal and do Slow Expand. Yeah, uh, it was a sentries. very nice cast, uh, counter to what he was seeing. Let me explain that a little bit. Yeah, please. He made a lot of sentries early on. As we were saying, you know, Songho, he's a StarCraft 1 player. That means his macro is going to be a step above anyone who wasn't. That's actually how uh, Korean StarCraft 1 pro gamers kind of differentiate themselves macro from everyone being, else. being able to make units and expand. Yeah, exactly. So he makes a lot of sentries to make sure he's not going to die early. And then realizes, okay, now I need units that deal damage to these marauders. What's a good unit for this? It's actually going to end up being the Immortal. So he makes a few of those. Doesn't want to overcommit to robotics units. You know, it's a really expensive to switch over to Colossus. So goes Immortal with his stalkers, uh, with his sentries rather, and takes his expansion. Very safe. Very well done by Songho. Yeah, Tilo's build. Um, it would have worked, I think, against a lesser player. I also got to commend Tilo for not um, panicking and just rushing in there. Yeah, because once uh, he realized, okay, I'm not going to get up the ramp. I mean, he backed up and expanded. That was a build that was designed to kill the other player early. Yeah, but with a backup plan, a plan B to uh, expand and then use Thor's in a way that we don't normally see. And but I don't know if I, Thor's was a good idea because yeah. the, the guy's already got a bunch of immortals. It, it didn't end up working out. But yeah. what I think is, you know, when I first started seeing it, I haven't seen that done. But then I started seeing, it, I'm like, oh, this is actually really intelligent. This could yeah. be great. This is actually, I think TLO was thinking on his feet. I'm going to end up asking him at the end, but I don't think he's actually played against a build quite like this with so many Immortals. But it and looks like there may actually be some sort problem. of problem here. Uh, we'll have to get back to you on that. But I'm thinking, actually, that in his practice, he probably didn't see so many Immortals. And he just, TLO knows everything about this game. So, yeah. uh, you know, what units kill what, every ability, what it can do, what it's good against. He knows all that stuff. So he probably thought... Thor's, that's a good idea right now. Much yeah. better than Siege Chanks. Obviously, Siege Chanks going to be countered hard by Immortals. Absolutely. So he decides to use that to make Thor's. I think he was thinking on his feet, but we'll have to go ahead and ask him on that. Well, by the way, guys, we're going to be interviewing both these players because we have the time to. So ask them both a lot of questions. Yeah. So uh, we, we may can use have your a questions. great interview. Um, we are waiting to see why we haven't started the game yet. Yeah. Um, so huh. that will be going on in a little bit here. There may be some technical difficulties. Um yeah, not sure exactly what's going on in that booth right now, but I'm sure they'll let us know pretty soon. Uh, I don't think it's m most likely nothing that would have affected that game. He would have obviously paused the game and no, I, yeah, had I mean, that happen. If you have a technical difficulty, you pause. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, you so. know, this isn't uh, like another organization I'm not going to name that will actually make you lose for pausing. Yeah. If you, yeah, you have something wrong, you go ahead and pause, man. I've heard of an organization like that. Yeah. I like them. No. Um, guys, at Team Liquid, it was so good to have you out here. I'm sorry, I'm casting all the... That's not Bakari Sweat. Put that down. Not, it, I think Powerade's giving us free drinks, actually, at this tournament. I don't think so. Oh. I think that guy was just being nice. Special thanks to our sponsors. Um, at, at Sony Ericsson, thank you, Blizzard, for making such a great game. And um, thank you at home for tuning in to GOM TV. It would not be possible without you. Um, yeah. We're going to wait here and see what's going on. I don't know I don't what know. that could be. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, more about that game. More about it was game, actually please. it was so great. Uh, the only thing that I was feeling a little bit weird on was Songho's third base timing. It felt a little bit late. Yeah, not a lot late, but a little bit late. I feel like uh, you you want to get that just a little bit quicker. Yeah, um, but maybe not. And Tilo, uh, oh, we're gonna on. get an update in a second here.
TLO lost sound in that uh, game. Okay. Um, well, I don't. Hopefully, you didn't just hit Control S. That actually happens to me a lot in games where I like my sound goes away. I'm like, oh, Control S. Yeah, it's it possible hit Control S. Control S does turn off sound. Yeah. That really shouldn't be. That button should not. The control, since that's used so much in StarCraft, that should not actually. Yeah. Would you consider no, that's that quite true. you make SCBs from the same button? Since they both start with S, obviously. I know, you're hawking stuff quick. You can just turn that off. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's quite quick. To, that's probably not. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe his speakers weren't plugged in, so I have no idea. Yeah. Um, baby Bye Bye's. Um, I'm looking at the screen right now. Uh, is saying that um, TLO played really well that game. He did? Yeah. Yep. Sungo, manner guy. Uh, wow. It's such a good game. Uh, you know, I'm actually, I watched Next Genius. I'm like, this guy, this guy is a good prototype. Yeah. Kisu is a step above everyone. It looks like Next Genius is. And f as far as I can tell from that game, Songho as well. Yeah. Because a lot of Protosses are, that we've seen in GSL so far have been kind of mediocre. Well, they seem to be a bit more impulsive. Yeah, they're just like, okay, I'm going to attack They now. have like a plan that's like myopic and only goes like 10 minutes into the game. Yeah. And after that, they're like, oh, I'm going to keep making Colossuses. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, Whereas this was very planned yeah. out. The amount... He switched over to Colossus at the right time. He had the right number of mortals. And at the same time, TLO. Uh, a lot of Terrans we see just constantly attack and just try to kill people. TLO was very patient about it. Very patient. Yeah. Uh, he just kept on trying to counter the units, get a good composition. That last attack didn't end up working out for him, but uh, I think we're seeing a much different level from what we've seen before. We may end up going to a break. Um, it depends. We have the, we, they have the referee... Um, in TLO's booth. I don't know, you guys don't have it on camera, but I can see it right down there. So, um, we're going to get updated as soon as possible on what's going on. We apologize for the delay. Uh, right. we're don't worry, Tasis. No one's going anywhere. It's TLO against Song. Oh, TLO is Some down against the Some kid's sitting there with a the full bladder. He's like, oh, but he can't leave because it's a TLO game. Look, um, I don't know if we're going to go to commercial break, though, to get this result. The referee is now entering the booth. Um... I think uh, we're not going to. I, so, I bet it's we're not going to. Keep it uh, with the full bladder. Go ahead. If they start the game, I'll pause it for you. Uh, we're going to get updated in a minute here. I'm being informed. Um, so sit tight, guys. I hope you have some nachos left because I think we're going to see three games. I can't. I think so. I think Tio I mean, could be is win. obviously quite good, but. So.